this long hand, it's technically called the Danielle cell diagram, the long hand way. I'll draw it short hand, uh, and we'll, we'll see what that looks like. So I have, uh, and, and I'll, I'll tell you some different information about this. So ferrous ions, what's the charge on that? Two plus, going to ferric, I've got to balance this. And I've got silver one going to silver metal. This is aqueous. What's the state on ferrous and ferric? Yeah, if it's charged, it's aqueous. So all charged things will be aqueous for you. Now, let me give you, uh, and uh, probably won't do too many examples, but you'll see me refer to this. It's table 20.1 in your text. I print it out if I were you, or photocopy it or something. Let me show you the secrets of Chem 2C, and I gotta zoom out for this. Okay, on this table, and it's in every Chem textbook, they have a list of what's called standard reduction potential. That is uh, reduction reactions. So these are all reduction reactions. Notice that there's always electrons in the reactants. So that's a reduction, half reaction. They're all listed, and the nice thing is they're all balanced. So if you need to balance a reaction, you just look here. I'm going to give you this table on the exam. So if you need to balance something, you could do it the laying 2A way, where you like Step one, two, three, four, whatever. Oh, you can just look here, and as long as it's on here, you're set. So, for example, that iron one is, uh, let's see. Let's see. It's got, here it is right there. It's written, remember, as reduction. Uh, in this case, remember, it, it's uh, oxidation, but that's okay. It gives you only the reduction. And then the other one, I think, is here also, the silver one. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, right above it. There we go. Boom. Okay? So, they're pre-balanced for you. And there's tons of reactions. Uh, almost every reaction you did in 2A is probably here. So, uh, you can use this as a shortcut. Again, this is the, in your textbook, uh, the first huge table. You'll also notice there's these what's called reduction potentials, numbers, voltages. Every reaction has a voltage associated with it. Some are positive, some are negative. I'm going to talk about these voltages a little bit later. Um, but this is the amount of voltage this reaction would put off. OK. So now we're drawing this cell diagram. We've got the two parts. Uh, again, we've got the oxidation here and the reduction here. The reduction has electrons in the reactants. Okay, now I want to kind of set my thing up here. I'll draw my template. So get used to drawing this. And you'll kind of fill in the blanks. After you get this all drawn, occasionally it might not look like this template, but most cases, it'll look like this kind of template. And just remind yourself, anode, cathode, write in salt bridge, just label everything. OK? All right. Um, let's do the cathode side first. That's the silver part. So we've got, let me fill in the blanks here. We've got silver, solid, and we've got the Ag plus aqueous going to silver, solid. Um, and then the electrons are coming in, rounded the bend of that wire coming into the electrode. So Ag plus plus an electron makes or plates onto silver, solid. Now, the anode, 
side uh, is a little bit more difficult. And then we'll do the salt bridge last. This, notice what happens. We have iron 2 plus aqueous. We have iron 3 plus aqueous. We have no solid. We don't have an electrode. You see what I mean? And somebody was asking me earlier, well, what would it be like? This is an example. We don't have a solid electrode. There's no solid in the reaction. In that case, we pick our own solid, whatever you want. It could be either carbon or platinum. You see, most of the time, I'm just going to put platinum in here. So again, if you don't have a solid, just write in platinum. Platinum is an inert metal. Uh, for the most part, so it's not going to take place in the reaction. How you draw the arrows, we're going from 2 plus, we're touching the platinum, and then going to 3 plus. See how that works? So the arrow kind of just tangentially touches the platinum. That's where the reaction actually happens. And it comes off as the iron 3 aqueous, and we lose an electron off the platinum. So an electron gets into the platinum metal and goes up the wire up at the top side. Okay. So you have this electron right here on the upper left. Okay, now the salt bridge. Uh, just to show you an example of a salt bridge, uh, you can use KNO3, potassium nitrate, is a pretty common salt bridge. Uh, and in the previous example, I drew arrows. You don't have to. You could just write KNO3 and stop right there. Uh, but just to illustrate it the same way I did the other one, uh, if you had, like, let's say, um, silver nitrate here as your aqueous salt, then the NO3 minus would be left over when the silver breaks off, and it would go up this way, and the K plus would go down that way. In this case, you'd have the... <coughs> iron 2 nitrate and the iron 3 nitrate and the uh, there would be extra irons which would go up here and the nitrate from the salt bridge would go down here. So again those arrows of the salt bridge most people don't draw I just wanted you to see how things work but when you write your answers you don't necessarily have to draw that. Okay, let me show you a pretty picture of this. Here it is, same thing we drew. You see they don't draw the arrows for the uh, salt bridge, but that's essentially what it looked like. This is how your text draw, draws these out. So same thing that we drew. Now the other thing I also want to do is draw the shorthand notation so you can see what that looks like. So let's draw the shorthand notation. It looks like this. Salt bridge in the middle. You don't have to write that it's potassium nitrate. We don't care what the salt is. It's pretty much irrelevant. So we've got silver plus aqueous, and then a line, a vertical line, and then silver solid. Remember, lines between states except for the gas aqueous states. Over here, we've got two. We've got the iron two plus aqueous. Oh, and if there's two that are the same state, you separate them by commas. Iron 3 plus aqueous vertical line. So if there's more than one of the same state, you separate it by commas. And then finally, <coughs> platinum solid. There's your electrode on the very left-hand side. Okay, any questions about this? Why are there two of these right here? Yeah. Okay, she's asking, why is there the FeNO3 here and FeNO3 here? I don't know if I did kind of a sloppy job. One of these should be a two and one should be a three. So it's iron two nitrate and iron three nitrate. One for this iron and one for this one. So a ferrous nitrate and a ferric nitrate. Thanks for asking.